Good morning on this morning. winter Monday morning from Wellington Cathedral of St. Paul. I'm Pixie and this is David. And we'll be using the New Zealand prayer book for this morning's prayers. Let's begin. Our help comes from the Lord who has made heaven and earth. Open our lips, O Lord, and, and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise. So you're going to come straight away to our reading. Uh, we've been going through, um, if you've been with us, we've been going through Paul's letter to the Romans. And we're on the second half of uh, chapter 11. So I also read uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 25. So that you may not claim to be wiser than you are, brothers and sisters, writes Paul. I want you to understand this mystery. A hardening has come upon part of Israel until the full number of the Gentiles has come in. And so all Israel will be saved. As it is written, out of Zion will come the deliverer. He will banish ungodliness from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. As regards the gospel, they're enemies of God for your sake. But as regards election, they're beloved for the sake of their ancestors. For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. Just as you were once disobedient to God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now been disobedient in order that, by the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God has imprisoned all in disobedience so that he may be merciful to all. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and how inscrutable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been his counsellor or who has given a gift to him to receive a gift in return? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. Amen. On that note of praise, we're going to read, um, it's called A Joyful Assembly, and it's from Hebrews. We have come before God, holy, God's holy mountain, the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before myriads of angels in festal gathering, before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God, the judge of all, before the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Let us therefore give thanks to God. Thus offering acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to, and the, to Holy the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Let's turn to prayer for others and for the world. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have given us freedom in this land to gather for worship, to not be afraid or ashamed to own the name of Christ. We thank you too for um, the lack of um, restrictions because of COVID, that we're get able to gather in our congregations and our small groups and in prayer triplets and any kinds of gatherings to bring praise to your name. And we just ask, Lord, that you would bring healing and comfort and strength and provision and freedom for all who are caught up in this pandemic, the world over. Please, Lord Jesus, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we bring before you, Lord God, all those that we will encounter today in work or at home or in the neighborhood. We pray for those people. You would help us be hope bringers, mm -hmm. light light bringers to into their lives, that we may by the way that we live, the things that we do, the things that we say, really reflect something of your grace and your goodness. We ask for them, we, we name them before you, those people that we would encounter. Mm -hmm. We lift before you those folk who we work with. We lift before you um, those that we will meet for coffee with or, or interact with in this day. Pour your Holy Spirit into their hearts, we pray, and that they may come to know you as Lord and Saviour. 
Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And now we pray for those who are nearby, neighbors, friends, relations, and those that we care so much about. You may still have the names of five people you've been praying for to come to know real peace in Christ. So let's pray now. If you'd like to lift the names of yours to God, let's lift them all together at the same time. And we lift ourselves before you too, Heavenly Father. Um, If there's any particular anxiety or concern or care that you have at the moment that you want to pray about, I'm just going to give a moment of quiet. Mm -hmm. And uh, please feel free to just uh, offer your own prayer or the name of somebody that's on your heart. Let's just do that now. As well as these, we lift all the general concerns like the outrolling of the vaccine for people across the world, um, for concerns for places where there's violence, human trafficking, uh, refugees, the need for compassion and being a good neighbour, and for governments to work collaboratively together for a better world. Mm. We lift all those things up into your into your everlasting arms and we lift ourselves before you too and pray for your blessing upon us that we may be a blessing to others Mm. we ask all this in jesus name amen Amen. let's say the lord's prayer together Mm. our Our father Father in heaven heaven, hallowed be your name your Your kingdom kingdom come come, your will be done done, on earth as in heaven give Give us today our daily bread forgive forgive us our sins as we we forgive forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And a morning collect for us today. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger and guide us to do always what is right in your eyes. Mm. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Amen. Amen. Have a really good day. Be a blessing. Thanks for joining us. See you again. Bye. Bye.